Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to adjust the slider, the opacity slider for the images that you have uploaded to your WordPress website using the Elementor plugin. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys want to make sure of is that you're logged into your WordPress account as an administrator. And the idea here is we want to get access to our website editor. So there are a couple ways to get there, uh, one of which I'll be sharing right now. So on the homepage of WordPress, you'll see that the connected websites or domains you have um, will be on your homepage. So here um, you can see right away under quick links that there's an option to edit the site. So when you click on it, it'll actually take you to this page right here where you get to configure the site from scratch. So here's the actual website for it. Now, if I were to upload an image on any of the sections here, so let's pretend that um, I want to add a uh, a new segment here or a new widget that follows the uh, uh, grid layout. So let's do this one, for example, and click on the drop down here. Let's add a text right here. Let's do text editor. So let's do uh, anything random. So let's say, uh, welcome to all things tech. Okay, so here's one. So if we were to upload an image, we'd be, what we want to look for is the style, like so. Actually, the first thing we need to do is uh, click on uh, this section right here. So text editor, and then we're going to click on add media. As you can see here, make sure you have it selected, by the way. So this will pull up the library uh, with all of your included assets for your WordPress account. So let's actually choose this image here. I know I already used it, but whatever. So when we go to choose it, insert into post, you'll see that it pops up right here. Now, as far as the uh, opacity goes, actually, um, I, I think we can do this from scratch. Um, let me just delete this real quick. Let's just do this one instead. So when you use, uh, you want to choose a text editor and then under style, you would want to click on background overlay. So as you can see here, I have container selected. And when we go to style, just like so, you'll see that uh, there's an option for background overlay. So if I were to upload an image again, actually it's, um, this might bug out. So let's remove this one first. So we're going to trash that. And we're going to background overlay instead. Click on choose image, select the same image as before, upload it. Let's actually wait for it to load. So here it is, it's it's rendering. Here we are. Okay, so the size is not correct. So let's do large for the image resolution. So here we are. Now you'll see right away that under the background over, overlay setting, there's an option, there's a slider for opacity. So for this, you want to do that. You want just want to drag it along depending on how visible you want it to be or not. So here we are, if I have it set to uh, 0.3, then it's very uh, faded, it's kind of washed, but um, this way you can see the text just fine. And that's how you guys do it. So yeah, thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.